Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up SMTP on your Pterodactyl panel. Now, I recorded this back in January, but that turned out to suck, so we're doing this again. <laughs> so, enjoy! Now, I've got this freshly set up Pterodactyl panel here, and I've done nothing other than what my previous tutorials have shown. Links in the description, by the way. Um... So what we want to do is we want to set up our mail server. And if we go here, it complains that we need to go PHP artisan, blah, 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 or set it in our end file. So we need to do a couple things first. So let's first pop over to SendGrid. Now you could use another service if you want, but I personally am a fan of SendGrid, so I will be demonstrating this with SendGrid. Fairly simple. <laughs> and when you first create your account, it will ask you to do some um, random setup stuff, but that's normal, and yeah. So, now what we need to do is we need to go add a sender. So, we need to go to sender authentication, authenticate your domain, so let's first do that. Would you also like RAN links for this domain? Uh, we're gonna say no. I'm using Cloudflare, so I'll say Cloudflare. Doesn't really matter that much. Um, it just doesn't really give you instructions. Um, so then we want to type in our domain here. So let's say testing. I have to listen. Oops. Testing dot. Oops. Synthetic media group dot com. I'm a genius ahead of my time. Okay. So it's giving us these three DNS records that we need to add. So let's pop over to um, Cloudflare and add them in. So we need a C name. Copy. Oop. Um, we're going to remove the proxy, add record, CNAME, copy, paste, copy. Oops, I hit control V there. I don't think that matters, but, you know. And then one, final one, CNAME, control V, control V, proxy, off. Okay, so now we're going to click, I've added these records, click verify, and then it worked. So it sees it in our DNS records. Um, now, if you're using a slower um, DNS service, um, like Google DNS or uh, GoDaddy's like built-in DNS servers, you're gonna have a lot slower uh, rollout sometimes. So give it a couple minutes and it should show up eventually. So let's go to sender authentication. So now we need to verify a single sender. So now this is where it can seem a little sus. So first we need to say who it's from. Um, so in this case, um, this isn't, this doesn't have to be your name. This could be like pterodactyl panel, panel, and then we're going to do testing at, or let's just do admin at testing dot synthetic media group dot com. And then reply to admin at testing dot synthetic media group dot com. You can change that if you want doesn't have to be the same thing. And now we're going to have to set our address. Now, if you don't have a company address, just use your home address. Um, yeah, I know this seems suspicious and weird to give out for an SMTP server, but it's kind of what you have to do if you don't want to host your own. And hosting your own is a pain in the ass. So I'll quickly enter my info. Press the panel. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click create. And now we've got the sender. So now we have one final step. Let's go ahead, pop over to our email API and go to integration guide. Now we want to do SMTP relay, and then we're going to name our API key. I'm just going to do testing panel, uh, create key. Do not give this to anyone else, but do keep in mind that you need to write this down. So now that we've got this ready, we're going to go ahead and open up a SSH session with our server. Let's go cd slash var slash www slash pterodactyl. Okay, now we're here. We can ls if we want. And now, if we pop back over to our panel, we can go ahead and copy this command. Um, if you're not logged in as the root account, you have to do sudo. And then we want to say smtp. Oops. <laughs> smtp. I am a genius. smtp. Click enter, 
And now we need our SMTP host. So let's pop back over to SendGrid. We want this. Paste that in. Uh, port, we are going to be using SSL connections, so we're going to do 465. Paste that. SMTP username, API key. And then our password is the API key. And now this email needs to be the same exact one as our sender we set up earlier. So I'm going to do testing, or nope, admin at testing.synthetic.mediagroup.com. Click enter, pterodactyl panel, that doesn't matter as much, but I like to keep it the same. Um, we want to use SSL, and there we go. So now, we pop back over to our panel, and hit F5 here, we can see that we've got this all set up, and we can configure it here. So, um, it really is as simple as that. Okay, so if you get an error that looks like this, you haven't done anything wrong, most likely, of course. Um... If it's not able to connect to SendGrid, um, even if you open the port, even if you go UFW allow 465, right? Even if you do that, it's not going to work. You're going to have the same error over and over again. And there's nothing you can really do about that, except for over here. So on Linode, in my case, it's the VPS I'm using for this video. They have a guide here on how you can actually allow those ports on your Linode. Um, in my case, I don't need this on my server because I run it locally. Um, so I don't need that. But we can see we'll get this error again. Even if we switch to the other available ports, um, we'll unfortunately have the same problem. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're on my personal pterodactyl, just to demonstrate that this works. I followed the same exact process I followed in this video to set it up here. Um, except I'm using a different email and different API key, um, of course. So let's go ahead, test, send a test email, and success. So now, if we head over to our inbox, that's from before. That's from when I was troubleshooting it to see if I was just being dumb. Um, give it a second here. I could just click on this one. Oh, that is it. Oh, it's a... Oh. <laughs> okay. So, here we can see it's working perfectly. Um, of course, this issue can be a little frustrating if you're using a VPS. But at that point, um, I think you'll be able to figure out how to do this um, on Linode. So, um hate to end it on this note, where it's kind of a pain in the ass to work around um, the problems created by the bad actors. Um, I do have to, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, uh, if you followed this tutorial and you don't have a pterodactyl set up already, go ahead and check out my pterodactyl playlist, um, where I feature several videos on how to set up pterodactyl, how to set up SSL, basically whole shebang um and if you don't want to do that uh, maybe consider checking out another one of my videos or subscribing and liking the video as always i hope you learned something and i'll see you next time goodbye